Can anyone break 90? Starting with my grandpa, who I like to call Gutta. And I've got some tailor-made hats here for him because he's been wanting those, so he'll be excited about that. The goal today for him is to break 90. For me, it's to break 72. This video is for you guys and for my grandpa. I know there's a ton of people out there. Most of golfers kind of shoot in the 90s. The goal is to see if we can get those golfers to break 90 with quick little fixes. There he is. So we're gonna mic Gutta up. Again, I call him Gutta. He's my grandpa, but when I was little, I couldn't say grandpa, so I say Gutta. The idea is not only for you, but for the viewers to see that the majority of golfers shoot over 90. Can we have them break 90, get in the 80s consistently, just by quick little fixes, not having to spend gobs of money and gobs of time on coaches that are just gonna have you keep coming back and find something different. So. We're trying to get that, you're my first person. What are your weaknesses in your game that you think? Not, not me seeing them, what are your weaknesses that you think? Chipping and long irons. Do you get on greens with your short irons more consistently? And how many greens do you get on in the round? By far, the, yeah, my pitching wedge, I love that club. I'm pretty good with that club. Uh, so I'm on in regulation or on the greens with that club much more than with a six iron or a five iron. Yeah, and how many do you think? Like, if you just had to guess. Uh, greens in regulation, I'm gonna get uh, half. How often do you break 90? And how often do you play? Well, we play Wednesdays and Fridays. That's two okay. days a week. Occasionally, I'll play another day. Mm -hmm. Breaking 90 for every 10 rounds, I'll break 90 two or three times. He's never played this course before. It's kind of difficult. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Let's get some chipping down. Try Gabriella and... has a much better chance of breaking 72 <laughs> than I have of breaking 90. We're gonna, we're gonna change that. What I've started to do, and you tell me if I'm way off base with this. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, I use pitching wedge. Okay. Almost regardless of the distance because That's I just feel thing. very comfortable with this club. Yeah, I actually read something this morning that a big thing for people that want to break 90 is keeping the same wedge. Like, let's not get crazy with it. You're not hitting flop shots, you know? We're just trying to get the middle of the green, you I know? I think that's an excellent point. Yeah. So what I just try to do from now on, I just got this in the last month or two, is just hit it like it's a regular shot. I'm not, you know, I'm not taking a putting shot, uh, stroke. I'm just... That's not what you want to do. What you want to do here, what Phil Mickelson said, is that there's only two positions, ball positions, that you can hit in a chip. One, front stance, you're gonna hit a high shot. Two, back stance, you're gonna hit a run up. That was middle stance and you were like swinging. You do not wanna do that. I think this will be big because he only hits 40 to 50% of greens, right? So we need to get those up and downs. And also, if you're gonna be hitting up on the ball, you have a chance of sculling and chunking. We want the opposite. We want you to be leaning down compressing and letting it roll if it's going to be a run-up or it's going to spin when it gets high. This is going to require a big change in my game because I don't do any of that. Right. That's Well, uh, that's fine. We're going so, to do that in 18 holes. The only thing you need to remember on this swing, wrist forward and make sure that this front foot, your left foot, is keeping all the weight the whole time. I like to chip sometimes just without that back foot. You don't need it. You, you really shouldn't be any weight. All forward, all forward. Smaller swing and front front foot. Much, much, much better. Look at that, that was the first try. That was completely the first try and it's the closest of any of his balls out there. By you, far. Yeah. 5,500 yards on the J18. Here we go, first drive. Like I said, okay. driver's really not a problem for him. That was smashed. All right. Oh, All right. what a shot. You hit it right through that wind. It was the left to right. All right, two great drives to start off the day. Let's get a good round going here. Okay, let's go. Par 5, 254 yards. What's your favorite club from this yardage? Well, from this yardage, uh, I feel good with my three wood. 
Okay, so you so you like to hit the three wood. What would you like to get to though? What if you had a perfect yardage to hit into the green? What would it be? Pitching wedge. Pitching wedge. Okay, so how far do you hit that? Like 200, 180? 180. All right, 190. so we're good. So then this will bring you to almost the pitching wedge. That's what one thing on par fives is See, extremely I never think important. like that though. I just try to hit the ball as far as I can. Yeah, no, on par fives you want to get to your favorite club on the third shot. Yep, that should be fine. Get right. Get right. So it got through there, See, I right? Did, I do pull it, and I have a tendency of pulling. Four hybrid here. Staying as left as possible. Got my little spot. What a shot. That should be good. That's excellent. Is it good? We're good? Oh, no. I think it just bounced Boxed in. in. Ah. I think it just Ooh, hit the top. Just as just as you hit it, a gust of wind came up. Look at this green. That is wide open. Yes, yep. there's a lot of slope. Does that go further than 105 or shorter no, than 105? This, this is 105. This is likely to be shorter. Shorter. Okay. So I'm going to the right side of the pin because I see this. Just a little bit. So the wind's coming left to right. You know there's an open area. There's not much of a face on the left. A big thing, greens and regulation, go for the middle of the green. That's a good shot. Get up there. Get up there. Good shot. Stay till the end of the video because we're going to sit down for lunch after trying to get a burger and summarize all the quick fixes that we had for him. Here we go. Got a no three putts. Down to down to down to down to down. Well, you actually, you hit it past. It's not terrible. We still have a yep. lot of work to do on this putt. Certainly not a gimme. That's a challenging putt downhill now. Okay. All right, I'm going to hit mine. Here we go. Oh, that looks good. Oof. I would say you're playing it right here. This yeah, is the give, hole. Don't give up the hole. Don't give up the hole. About half a foot, a foot short. You really, really got to barely tap this. Oh, it didn't, it okay. wasn't right. So what I see with that quick fix here, I, I watched your stroke. What I saw with that stroke is this. Any good putter that you see, they will not move their head. They won't hit and hope, which is what I like to call it. Trust your stroke, keep your face down all the way, as close to the ground as possible, to your left or forward foot, and, and keep your head down. Do not look at the hole like this. Then I look up. Oh, that's a bullet. Good. What are you hitting? I'm going to go with the pitching wedge again. Pitching wedge? Come back, come back, come uh, back, come right. back. We can work with that. It's a little well, bit right, but we can work with it. I was aimed right. You were aimed severely right, which is fine. We're not going to try and change the whole swing and throw him off. We're going to try and get him to just get as close as we can to the green and fix the short game. So 92 here. I'm going to hit 50 degree. Oh, that looks right at it. Should distance, be good. Distance. Should be good. Yep, we're good. I think I gotta chip this actually because this, this. I would agree. If it was me, I'm chipping it. Back stance. Yeah. Close club face. For you, you're open a lot of the club. Close club face and wrist forward. You're compressing. You're using the bounce of the club and you're compressing. Make sure that club face is a little bit closed. One to one, let the ball roll. Get through there. Get through there. So you kind of took that back a little bit further than one to one. When you take the club back further, when take you take it back. It back you're gonna stop. When you take it back that far with the pitching wedge, your brain tells you, I need to stop the club, and then it ends up going super long or super short. So again, that's why the one-to-one -one is the same distance on both sides. A little bit long, we're good. Stress-free for you, wouldn't be for me. The main thing is keeping the putter face straight through the ball. Better. That was better. 
It was still turned at the end, but you got it within three feet. It's a stress-free bogey. We're not getting double here. You Where know what I mean? come from, this is good. On par threes, I don't know why. Maybe you can tell me. I always hook it. See? See? I always do that. Okay. So I mean, that's left, but that's, that's not good. So instead of basically changing his whole swing and fixing that, let's just have you not tee it up on this time. Let's, let's just try it. Much better. See? That's right at the pin. That is right at the pin. It's over. It's over. But Maybe it's too straight. much club, but... That was a fix. That was the fix. So from now on, on part threes, I'm not teeing it up. So here, I actually don't think I want to tee it up as well. I, I don't feel comfortable with this hole. Get up there. Get up there. That's Works good. No, oh, stay. That's not bad. Oh, baby! All right, here we go. Atta girl. This is a great drill. Ready? You line it up with the edge of the hole. Do not come over that line. Do not come over that line. Keep it as straight as possible. That was much, much better. You still did it. I did. I saw it. Still did it. Still sliced it out. Better. Right there. That's a beauty. Get right. That was a good swing. Got it. That's a good swing. Ooh, it's uphill. Right now, I'm one under through four. This is not easy. No, it's not. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Make sure that club face is closed. It'll help you set up for keeping the club face straight. That's better. That's it. That's it. You got it. And you know what? I actually Kept wound up that way. Most importantly, the head was straight. That's a gimme. Oh! oh so you have bogey. That's a good putt. I bogey on that. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Oh. That's that tremendous. Roll down. <sighs> Stay straight.
stress-free par, you gotta like those. Well done. What do you think that was? 35? No. 40? Way more than that. That was 50? Like, that was 50. I think that was 50. Oh, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. In the sand. What a great shot. So I shot two under and I hit eight out of nine greens. And then Gutta, 12 over on nine. And then he hit only one green. And he had one, two, three, three putts. And not including, I mean, there are three three putts, but some of the two putts were for par. So actually, all of them were one. What Gabby is teaching me is no doubt correct, but it's very difficult to execute on the same day that you're learning it, number one. Number two, everything she's teaching me about the chipping and putting is completely unnatural to me because I'm not doing anything like that or near that in my own game. So I gotta practice that. The easy quick fixes that I teach you guys on Instagram and on YouTube shorts and all that stuff are supposed to be quick fixes and they do work 100%, I'm telling you. But they do require some practice. It's hard to come out here just do them and on spot. The wow, that wind really took it, and I hit a slight cut. Good shot. There we go. Okay, I think we got 114 or so, 110. Again, because I have a tendency of pulling, I go right of the pin all the time. What? Ah! That's right at it. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Stop. I kept it down. I kept it down, Gap. Now 
one under, and Gutta is 12 over. So we're even on this on this back nine first two holes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I hooked it again, always hook it. Tried to overpower it. It's a great swing, it just gotta That's get That's a good there. ball. Good pot, good pot. Oh! Wow. That's a two under. That's about a 35 footer. Close the face a little bit. Ah, get over. Came out. Well, well done. Come on, go, go, go. Nah, it's short. Way short. Should use the nine. Right at it. Why did I hit it so hard? Oh! It's a bogey. Perfect. Right at it. Oh boy, what a shot. What a shot. Could be on. Oh my. Nice. Good shot, Gabs. Thanks. All right, long putt here. Little right to left, but very left to right, I think. Yeah, see that little dark patch of green? I think that's about the line. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you were aimed a little bit right, but that could be okay. You were aimed actually like two feet right. Well, it was, yeah. I thought the green patch was the line. It yeah, just the kept green on going patch right. out there, right? No, this one. 
Oh, we're talking about a different green patch. I, I, I thought you were talking about this one, the darker one right here. All right, I'm making this pot. Got to make this one. Big pot here. Oh, it's just Had not hard the line. enough. It's not hard enough. All right. Uh. More than that. All right. So through 16 holes, the front nine got a shot of 48. He hit one out of nine greens and 21 putts. I hit eight out of nine greens and I was two under, 34. On the back nine, Gutta's hit two greens, he's 13 putts, and right now he's only two over. Great comeback on the back nine. And I am even, and I've hit five out of seven greens. So, this back nine for you has been really good. If we Much can par better, the rest, I need to... what's your best nine hole score? I think it's a 39, 40. We could, we could get that. We could easily beat that. I, 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 we got three holes, two holes left. Two holes left. Two we holes can left. salvage okay. that for sure. Not only breaking 90, but breaking his best score on nine holes. All right, 134 yards here. Wind's coming with us. Wind's been crazy all day. I'm going to hit a nine iron at that guy's cart. That's right at it if the distance is good. I think it may be a little long, actually. A little long. Believe uh, it or not. Stay. Is it over? I think it just went over. Get up there. Get up there. Go, 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 go. Ah. All right, we're going to have to make it up and down. Oh, you're going to chip now? OK, good, good. Yeah, I got to chip this. This is extremely right to left. Very, very right to left. I mean, like, really, really, really right in your face here. Landing spot right in this face right here. Nothing short of that. It's gonna get really held up. If you wanna do one to one, it's that landing spot. Back stance, close club face, wrist forward, just one to one. That's a little bit more than one to one. It's gonna be. I yeah, you that. landed that too short and took it back too far. All right, up and down here, nice little up and down. No, it's gonna pull off this lie. Land ball, stop it. Stop. Oof. Downhill really got me. All right. It's a little hard. Too hard. Really right to left. That is disappointing, man. Yep, good pot. All right, two bogeys. Oh, oh ah. no. Boom, all right, we're good. Good ball. Thanks. Good ball. We're out, we're out. Par five. Three wood here, gonna blast it. Another thing you don't usually normally see me do here. These par fives are pretty short though. Gonna hit a great shot here. Get up, keep going. All right, we should be good there. I think that's a great shot. Get over that, get over that, get over that. Ooh. I think that's exactly what you wanted to do there. Uh, it's behind the tree. No, that tree is like 190. Oh, what a great shot from there. I couldn't have done better doing that. What a great shot. Well, that's a challenging putt. All right, we need to make that. That's to tie your best nine hole score. I'm trying to hit my best shot here. Come on, oh, what a go, go. Oh! 
Today, I've conquered my fear of anything from 40 to 60 yards. Very happy with that. Let's get some sand for that, because that is a lot of divot. That was like a flop shot. So if I make this, then I beat my goal by two. If you make this, you beat it by three. Wow. Wow. On the turn, I did not think Gutter was gonna come back that strong. I felt he was gonna come back, but this is like really, this is monumental Gutter right here. And I did not think I was gonna do this. Because he didn't get well. it at first. The quick fix didn't, you think quick like right away, right? It's just quicker than a lesson is what we're saying. Wow, we're All really right, close. We I go. thought we were gonna be a lot further. Here we go. It's a little uphill. Little uphill. One last putt for Gutter. Inside left, a little bit right to left, but inside left mostly. Grain goes this way, sit right here. All right, I would say don't back down with this putt. If anything, go a little bit long. It's uphill. It's going both left to right and right to left. Uh, oh, right. it's just more break. It went, All right, so you make this. That's for two strokes. You beat it by two strokes. I make this, I beat it by two strokes. Big pot here. Inside left. Oh! Back of the cup. Both of us broke by Mission. two. Mission accomplished. <laughs> We're gonna go get some food and break it down. On the back nine, Gutta had 16 putts and 21 putts on the front nine. Ooh, but awesome. we cleaned it up on the back nine. We hit two greens on the back nine. Still, the greens, you haven't really hit that much. But we learned from that that he really wasn't hitting greens. We fixed the chipping and we fixed the short game. This is a case where short game is extremely important. And as you can see, he shot four over on the back nine, which is really good. 40 is really good on nine holes. So what we learned from this, we learned that he basically, we didn't tee up anything on the par threes, which really helped for sure, because I think that's also mental as well. Mental and also you're, you flip your hands over with that tee, you're not hit, getting the ground to stop it and hit it straight from flipping your hands over. And then on, on putting, we kept that face down as low to the ground as possible. On the left foot, on his front foot is where we stopped it. But we also let you go a little bit with the lo longer putts, the lag putts, we let you turn over the face a little bit because that's how you know. You know, we didn't want to completely change everything you're putting. But on the shorter putts, keeping that putter straight. And then on chipping, of course, which I think fixed the most is the chipping. We yeah, the, lowered that yes. back club yeah. face, yeah, everything. Both the putting and the chipping on the front nine was very difficult to implement. Understand, right? And understand, because it's totally mm. different. Right. But after nine full holes, <clears throat> I started to get it. It started to work. And now the objective is to practice it, because yeah, I know because, it's the right technique. Right, it's all I about the technique. I know what I'm doing yeah. is not the technique. We're not expecting for him to have the best technique out there. We're expecting that he tries and works with what he has, you know? So he, we know on his lag putts, he likes to really arc the putter and that works for you. So I'm not gonna really touch that. When you get closer, you really do need to learn to keep that putter as straight as possible. Cause it's those little like, oh, I closed a little bit too much. I opened the face a little bit too much and I missed the putt. But you know, it really is remarkable that we had two objectives and we accomplished And we it, got it. Which is really all it. that matters. I gotta work on more technique, but not too much. Mission but. accomplished. Oh, yeah.